everyone. Welcome back to Show Me How to Win. We're visiting Taipei, Taiwan, and we're checking out small islands. Taiwan is just one of the small islands, so that makes it really fitting. All right, next to me is Alan. Alan is the president <laughs> of <laughs> BGM Board Game Nation, and Small Islands is actually one of their. This is your first game that you're gonna bring to Essen, so this is a big one for them, and it looks really well produced. So it's gonna be a good one. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. All right, so Alan, what are we doing with Small Islands? How do we? What's the background behind Small Islands? 在这个小岛这个游戏里面呢，我们扮演的都是被酋长派出去的探险家。我们要想办法呢，在广大海洋中呢探索岛屿，然后呢，并且得到分数，然后最后来成为游戏的胜利者。Okay, so we're explorers trying to explore the islands and、uh, build homes on them and try to basically get the most prestige. All right. Um. So in this game, on a player's turn, players will place uh will take a tile and place a tile. Their goal is to Um, match, make the, make sure the some of the islands match their secret objective cards. If the objectives are met, they will get the reward. All right. So every player gets one ship tile. When someone plays the ship tiles, then the round will end and the everyone will score. They will reveal their、uh, objective cards and see if the missions are met. If there are, they get to place a house on one of the islands where the objectives are met. If not, they will not get to score that island. All right. So、um, I heard that every, no matter how many players, everybody will play four rounds. So、uh, if there are only three players or two players, we only get two or three ships. How does it work? 呃，如果在游戏中呢，假设这是一个三人游戏，我们没有红色玩家的话，我们就把红色的这个船板块翻到背面，它变成是黑色的。那这个时候呢，就是其他三个玩家呢都可以使用这个，它是一个公用船。那这时候呢，谁都可以用它，先抢先赢。What about if there's two players? Do we each get one of the? Uh, we get two ships. 呃，不是每个拿一个，而是这两艘黑船呢，我们都会翻到背面，就变黑黑船。然后大家一样是剩下两个玩家呢，先抢先赢。所以有可能有一个人他手脚快，他抓开船时机快，他就可以用到三艘船，另外一个就只有一艘船可以用。That doesn't seem fair. So, if there's two players, there will be two public ship. If there are three players, there will be one public ship. So I can see that when to grab the ship really is an important thing. All right, Alan. There is a lot going on in small islands. I need you to give me some tips. So, give me some secret、uh, secret strategies on how to win or be good at small islands. 在小岛这个游戏里面呢，第一个很重要的事情是善用你的这个资源片，因为在这个游戏中呢，这资、個、源片呢，你可以呢去覆盖场上其他的资源，有可能可以让你呢得到。更多的分数，呃，达成更多的任务啊，也有可能让你去阻碍别的玩家，让他们任务无法达成，然后得不到分数。那第二个呢，在游戏中很重要的一个 tips 在于说呢，去注意场上的状态，因为呢，每个岛每个人只能盖一座房子。举例来说，像这个岛，红色、白色跟紫色玩家都已经盖过房子了。那这座岛他们没还没盖房子，所以他们是可以在这座岛盖房子得分的。可是如果我是黄色玩家，我这时候就会想办法呢，把这两座岛连在一起，那它就变成一个大。的岛屿，他们的房子都已经盖过，所以这个岛只有我可以得到分数。那最后呢，一个我觉得很重要的一个点呢，就是说掌握开船的时机，呃，并且掌握开船的地点。因为呢，开船时机掌握的好的话呢，它是所有人都会计分。但是如果你时机掌握好的话，你这一轮的得分可能会比其他人更高。然后，并且呢，掌握开船的地点呢，在于说呢，因为游戏结束的时候，船的周边也会有得到额外的分数，所以好的地点可以让你在游戏结束的时候有更多的加分。Okay, so to summarize, number one, make sure you know when to use your resource,、uh, bonus resource tokens.、So、everyone gets four of these. You can use these to modify the condition of the island so that it better met met your objective cards. But you can also use it to mess other players up because once somebody plays something down, you can actually go back and cover it up and mess with them. So that's number one. Number two. Because every player only gets to build one island, one house on each island. So sometimes there might be an island on the corner that seems to be unconnected to other islands. But if you have a chance to connect it, to make that, make it so that only you can build on this new larger island, because you connect two different islands that someone already placed a house on the other islands. On the islands, you won't. 
they won't get to score the new island anymore. So that is another way to mess with, mess with your opponents. Last but not least, try to make sure that you sell your ship at the right time and also the right location because you not only score when you place your uh, ship, you also, at the end of the game, get to score eight tiles around it. The more anchors you have around the uh, ship, your ship tile, the more points you'll get. But you can also mess with other opponents to make sure that they don't get those uh, anchors by placing particular tiles around uh, someone else's ship so that they don't actually get to score what they how they want it to be. All right, so now one more question. What if someone holds on, hold down to their ship because they don't want somebody else to score more than them? How does the game end then? 如果有人他坚持不肯开船，很珍惜他的船，然后最后都不肯开船的话，那游戏就会在另外一种状况，也是所有这些的 landscape tile 全部都用完的时候，游戏就会结束。那这个时候呢，会从最后一个人来做一次计分，然后游戏就经此结束。Okay, so the game will end when the tiles run out or when everyone places their ship tile. All right, cool. I really like this game. Um, if you know me, I like. Tile lane games. There's something, something about tile lane games that I really like. So I love Tucker Song and making islands remind me a little bit about、uh, the Vikings, the game that. Is about making a bunch of islands, but this game is actually very different because of the objective cards. So that actually makes it a lot more thinky and more interesting. Plus, I like games where you can mess with your opponent. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm gonna make sure that I check this one out at Essen this year. Thank you so much, Alan, for showing me how to win at small islands, and thank you for watching. Bye.